Now we are about to perform the CDL test in Dayton, Ohio. And we're going to start with the end cab. Won't you join me inside? First, my seat belt is not cut or frayed and latches securely. My safety equipment, I have three reflective triangles. I have a 10BC fire extinguisher, fully charged and securely mounted. My truck runs on circuit breakers. Now I will do a safe start. I will turn the key one time. My ABS light comes on and goes off. With my transmission in neutral, my brakes are set. I will start the truck. Oil pressure must rise within five seconds or I turn the truck off. My water temperature will rise as the truck warms. If I had a DEF gauge, I would mention it, but in this truck, I don't. My air pressure gauges are rising to the proper level. I will go now over here to my defrost and my heat. Turn the blower on. My defrost works. My heat works. My city horn works. My air horn works. Now I'll do my indicators. My left turn signal indicator works. My right turn signal indicator works. My four-way flasher indicator works. I would turn my low beams on to get my high beam indicator to work. I'll leave my low beams on. The last thing I'm gonna do is press this button in to bring you up to my windshield wipers and washer fluid. Both my windshield wipers and washer fluid are both operational. My windshield wiper blades are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and they're at the proper tension to the windshield. My windshield securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it has no illegal stickers, and the seal is in place. My mirrors securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and adjusted to the driver. Now we will do a brake test. There's three brakes, tractor, trailer, service brake. I will test my tractor brake first. Put it in drive, and it's gotta have a solid number and not flash to make sure I'm in gear. My tractor brake held. Now I'm going to check my trailer brake. My trailer brake held. Now I'm going to check my service brake. I've got my foot on the service brake now. My service brake held, and the truck did not pull to the left or to the right. I'll put it in neutral. I will also make sure I'm not rolling and I'm on level ground. Now, I will take a break because I have to build my air pressure up to either my governor spits or at least to 120 PSI. So I'll give it some fuel. And if I bring it up to between 10 and 15 RPMs, it'll build up pretty, it'll build up pretty quick. While you're waiting for it to build up, if you forgot anything on the end cab, this would be the time to remember and say it. There it is. I'm at the, the most air that my truck can take. My valves are already pushed in. I don't have to worry about that. I'm in neutral. So I would turn the key to the left one click to turn my engine off. And I'll turn it back one click to turn it back on. Instructor, with my foot on the service brake, and I'm not putting it on there yet, with my foot on the service brake, I will not lose four PSI in one minute. Will you time me? And then he'll say yes. Put your foot on the brake. Hold it there until he says one minute is up. Then I take my foot off and say, I did not lose four PSI in one minute. Step two, I will fan the brake until my low pressure alarm and buzzer comes on at approximately 55 PSI. And just press the brake all the way to the ground and back off the brake. My alarm and buzzer came on at approximately 55 PSI. I will continue to fan the brake until both of my valves pop out at approximately 40 PSI and point to them so you can watch them. My trailer brake popped out at approximately 30 PSI. I will continue to fan the brake until my tractor brake pops out. My tractor brake popped out at approximately 10 PSI. I would turn the key one click to the left. This concludes my in cab. Next, I would tell the test 
instructor, would you go to the back of my trailer so I can check my lights? As he's walking to the back of the trailer, you'll turn the key to the right once again, one more time. And then you would yell out to him, left turn signal, right turn signal, full way flashers, brake lights. And when you touch the brake lights, let him know my clearance lights are on. Will you please walk to the front of the vehicle? Then when he gets to the front of the vehicle, you will say again, left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, and you left your lights on, so you would say, my high beams are on and my front clearance lights are on. And then when he gives you the okay, then we will go outside. And right now, we will turn the key off because he gave us the okay, turn our light switch on, and let's go outside and do the rest of the pre-trip. And remember, when you exit the truck, you exit three points of contact and exit with your back out. As I exit the vehicle, I will pop the hood on this side and then we walk to the front of the truck. My clearance lights, turn signals, are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and they're all amber in color, no missing lenses. My headlight, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clear in color, no missing lenses. I have no puddles or low hanging wires to indicate that there's a leak. Follow me to the passenger side, please. My exhaust, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My clamps are tight and there's no soot to indicate a leak. And this is where I would pop the other hood latch and open my hood. Coolant reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking, and it's between add and full. I will follow my hoses down to the water pump. Water pump, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking. It is gear driven. My alternator, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is belt driven. All my connections and wires are tight. My belt, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, or not cut or frayed, no more than three quarter inch play. All my hoses and wires on this pad passenger side is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not cut or frayed, and not leaking. All my clamps are tight. Now follow me around to the driver's side of the vehicle. I would check all my hoses and wires the same as I did on the passenger side of the vehicle. Air compressor, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. All my connections are tight. They're not leaking and it is gear driven. Power steering fluid reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking. And it is between add and full. I will follow the hose back here to the power steering pump. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It is gear driven and it is not leaking. Now I will drop down to my steering gear box. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. All my connections are tight and it is not leaking. My five parts of my steering are steering shaft, pitman arm, drag link, steering knuckle, and my tie rod. All five parts are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My universal joint is properly greased and I have no missing castle nuts or cotter keys. Now I will drop down to my suspension. Spring mounts, front and back, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Leaf springs, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no shifted or missing leaves. Shock, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking. U-bolts, Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Now I'm come out here to my brake system. Brake hose, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not leaking. ABS wire, securely mounted, not cut or frayed. Brake chamber, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The clamp around it is tight. Push rod, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It's attached to the automatic slack adjuster, which is also securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The pin and cotter keys are in place. Now inside my tire, I have my drum, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no oil to indicate an inner seal leak. Lining, securely mounted, not cracked or broken and not worn dangerously. Thin. Now move out to my tires. Inside, outside tire walls, no abrasion bulges or cuts, evenly worn, no separation, no less than 430 seconds on the tread depth. Rims, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no illegal welds. Lug nuts, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, they're all present, none are missing, no rust trails or shiny threads to indicate that they're loose. Hub seal, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and not leaking. I would pop the cap off to check the oil level. Mirror bracket, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no missing bolts. My door opens and closes freely. There's no loose or binding hinges and my seal is intact. 
steps, catwalk, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. They hold the driver's weight and there's no debris. Straps, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. They have the rubber seal underneath. Fuel tank, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no puddle or a leak. Fuel cap, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. And there's a rubber seal on the inside of the cap. My drive shaft, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My universal joints are properly greased, not twisted. Frame, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or twisted. Airlines, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. They're attached to the back of the tractor and the front of the trailer. They're not leaking. My glad hands, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking. They have the rubber grommets inside that are also securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking or missing. Electrical line, securely mounted, not cut or frayed. My safety latches are in place. Header board, there's no holes or bulges to indicate a shifted load. All my rivets are in place. I'm gonna drop onto my trailer apron. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. No illegal welds, no gap between my trailer apron and my fifth wheel, which is also securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Properly greased. Release arm, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My platform is also securely mounted, not cracked or broken. All my bolts are tight and there are none missing. And they're all present. I will drop down to my brake chamber. I have six brake parts. Brake hose, brake chamber, push rod, slack adjuster, and inside this wheel, drum and lining. I would check my brake parts the same way as I did my steer axle. Suspension, which has four parts. Spring mount, spring leaves, U-bolt and shock. I would check my suspension the same as I did my steer axle. Work my way out, in and out, in and out. My tire walls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Evenly worn, no separation, no less than 230 seconds on the tread depth. Proper spacing between the tires, no debris or illegal objects. My rims, lug nuts, valve stem, I would check the same as I did my steer axle, which reminds me on my steer axle, I did not mention my valve stem, which is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. The metal cap is in place and I would check it with the air pressure gauge. So if you miss any parts on your pre-trip, definitely go back and say it and you'll get credit for it. Mud flap, securely mounted, not cracked or broken and not hanging dangerously low. I'm going to start inside my fifth wheel. Inside my fifth wheel is a kingpin shank, which is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Right in front of it is the locking jaws, which are also securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and it's in the locked position. Down below the fifth wheel is a tie rod, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Here's my airbag. My airbag mounts, top and bottom, are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My airbag itself is securely mounted, not cut or frayed or leaking. In the back of the tractor are my brake lights, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no missing lenses, and they are red in color. My reverse light, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, it is clear in color, no missing lenses. As I work my way out, my trailer frame is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no missing cross members, no holes in the floor. Landing gear, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, the feet or the pads are raised, and the handle's in the lock position. This isn't a sliding fifth wheel, so I don't have to mention that there's proper spacing between the trailer and the landing gear, but if it was, I would mention that. DOT tape is securely mounted, not cut or peeling. Turn signal, reflector up in the front and at the very top, my clearance lights are all securely mounted, not cracked or broken, not missing any lenses, all amber in color. As I go back to my rear tandems, I have my brake chamber. So here is my brake hose, my brake chamber, push rod, automatic slack adjuster, and inside these tires are my drum and my lining. I would check them the same as I did my steer axle. My suspension, my spring mount, my spring leads, my U-bolt and shock, I would check them as I did my steer axle. This, however, is a torque arm is secure mounted, not cracked or broken. My tires, in and out, in and out. My sidewalls, I would check these dual set of tires the same way I did my drive axle tires. Rims, lug nuts, valve stem, hub seal, I would check this the same as my steer axle. Mud flap, I would check the same as my drive axle. Reflector, marker light, clearance light, brake lights, and turn signals are all red in color. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken or missing any lenses. My 
DOT tape, securely mounted, not cut or peeling. My door opens and closes freely. No holes or bulges to indicate a shifted load. My hinges are not loose, binding, or missing. My handle is in the lock position. My safety chains are present along with the safety latches that are on the side of the trailer. My pintle hook is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My air lines are securely mounted, not cracked or broken or leaking. My license plate light is clear in color, securely mounted, not cracked or broken or missing any lenses. My license plate is current. I would check the passenger side of my vehicle the same as the driver's side of my vehicle. And this concludes my pre-trip. Good luck, you guys.